been getting a lot of requests lately from you guys watching the channel asking for a practical guide on how to track your progress, how to make sure that you know that you're making progress in your goals. So, because some of you guys have talked to you, you can't afford coaching, you can't do any of that stuff. And so I wanna give you some value in this video where I tell you how I basically track things for my clients. I help them track their results so that they stay on track and they get results for themselves. And this is the system that we've used to have like an 80% client success rate after the program. So after guys graduate from Attraction Accelerator, 80% of them go on to reach even further stretch goals that we set on the original call without additional coaching. So that is really powerful. <laughs> it's like, it's really sick seeing guys that are not in the program anymore still win. And it's because they have these systems in their life. So there's two main things that you need to be tracking. And if numbers bore you and tracking bores you, I'm sorry, but success is probably not for you. Like you need to watch the end of this video. It's gonna be a little boring, that's fine. I'm gonna try to make it entertaining, but you need to get to the end. At the end of the day, we gotta know where we're at. And if we don't know where we're at, like we care about results. We don't care about, oh, like I feel so good. I feel like I'm making progress. No, fuck that. Like we have to actually know where we're at because we don't wanna wake up in five years and be like, holy shit, I haven't made any progress towards my goals. I'm nowhere closer and I thought I was making progress this whole time. Like I talked to so many men that are completely delusional in terms of where they're at. They think, oh, I'm proud of myself. I'm making progress. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at the numbers. You're not. And it's until they come into my program that they see that, oh my God, I haven't been making progress at all. I haven't been making progress for five, 10 years and I thought I was. And they break that delusion and it, it really upsets them. It's very upsetting. And so I wanna avoid that for you. I want you to realize that you need to track. You need to pay attention to where you're going. So first, we're gonna talk about numbers specifically, and then we're gonna talk about how you can track like more non-tangible goals, okay? Goals that don't have like a direct number tied to them, like how you feel about yourself, everything like that. So first, let's get into numbers. There's two types of numbers that you need to pay attention to if you want to track very good progress. If you wanna guarantee your success, if you want to get high quality women in your life and you wanna actually improve who you are as a man, then you need to be tracking these two types of numbers. First type of number that you need to track are lead indicators. Lead indicators are gonna make a lot more sense once I explain lag indicators, okay? So I'm gonna explain them in a second, but the second number you need to track is lag indicators. Lag indicators are your results, okay? So how many dates are you getting? How many phone numbers are you getting? How many matches are you getting on a dating app? How much do you weigh? How much weight are you lifting on the bar? How much money is your business making? These are lag indicators. So they're the end result that you're looking for. So maybe you're looking to generate an extra $10,000 a month in your business. Cool. Well, that's the lag indicator. What are the lead indicators that are going to lead to that? So it's really important to understand with lag indicators, you can't pay attention to them. Like they're not the, well, you need to pay attention to them, but you need to pay attention to the overall trend. So with lag indicators, you can't be tracking your weight and feeling good or bad based on the lag indicator because by definition, it's lagging behind. A lag indicator just tells you how you've been doing, whether it's the last week, the last month, the last year. That's what the lag indicator actually tells you. It doesn't tell you anything about what you're doing today. All right, so if you had a really productive day and you end the day and you still don't have the money, <laughs> you still don't have the girl and you still weigh the same and you're pushing the same weight in the gym, then of course, because <laughs> the result is lagging behind. So don't let these lag indicators, even though you should be tracking them every single day and figuring out what those key lag indicators are for you, depending on your goals, whether it's fitness, focus, your finances, or your communication, you need to figure out what those lag indicators are and track them, but don't let them get in your head. Like don't let them bother you. It's easier said than done, but you need to be tracking them and don't let, oh man, I'm gonna get too upset when I see that I'm not benching 135 next week. You know, I'm gonna get too upset when I see that. So I'm just not gonna track it because the fact is you're gonna bench that much anyway. So you might as well track it. You might as well know. You don't wanna live in ignorance, all right? So the second type of number, I guess the first one that I mentioned earlier is lead indicators. Lead indicators are measurements of your action. So lead indicators are a little trickier to come up with because you have to have an intricate understanding of what actions need to be taken in order to get the result you want. So if you are in a coaching business, then you need to generate sales calls to make money. So you need to track how many sales calls you're generating. And then you need to also be tracking how many posts you're making, how much cold outreach you're doing to generate those calls. Whatever your client acquisition method is, you need to track the things that lead up to the lag indicator, 
okay? So for dating, how many approaches am I making? How long are those approaches going, right? Do I have a clear intent for these approaches? How many approaches am I making with a clear intent to improve? And these ones can get a little bit more vague, but you want to try to define them as clearly as possible. And this is what we do with our clients. We help them define it because a lot of times it's something that is very hard to define for yourself. Like a lot of times you don't have a clear definition of, did I push myself in the gym? Did I go to failure? Like other than the fact that you literally can't lift the weight, a lot of guys don't understand how hard they can push themselves. A lot of guys don't understand how hard they can push themselves when it comes to social situations and talking to women and pushing through their fears. So if you don't understand that, then it's gonna be hard to come up with lead indicators that help you get to your goals because you're just gonna be tracking stuff that you're like, it's okay. You know, it's like, oh, I generated this many sales calls. Yeah, but were they good quality sales calls? And you have to be brutally honest with yourself when you're tracking those lead indicators to see like, was that good quality? Was the work I put in worth the result? Did I deserve the result? And you have to be very honest with yourself. And that's where having feedback, like a community, like we have a link down in the description on Facebook, really helps where you can get feedback or coaching. There's a link in the description for that as well to apply for our first initial interview call for my coaching program. So that's where, where coaching can help because you do need to really figure out like what are those lag or what are those lead indicators that you need to implement and track because a lot of times you're just taking action that's just incorrect. A lot of times you're blindly flying through the night and you're not making real progress because you don't know how to move forward. So those are numbers that you need to track. Next, we need to track your emotions. And so you're gonna be like, how do I track emotions? How do I know I'm actually making progress? And this is the secret sauce to Attraction Accelerator and our client success. The thing that we have guys do, and 90% of you guys probably won't do this watching this video, that's why guys pay us money to make them do it, is journal. Journal about how you're feeling and your progress and your goals. And so when I mean journal, a lot of guys get confused by this and you're gonna think it's way more fancy than it actually is, so pay attention. Journaling is not hard, it is not fancy. I take this book, I take this journal right here. You can see it's, it's full of stuff, full of entries, and I just start writing. Usually, there will be one thought in your head that repeats over and over and over again. And maybe it'll be top of mind, maybe you have to dig for it, but you'll find it eventually within five minutes of sitting down and just clearing your head. Turn your phone off and just start writing about that idea. And what it'll feel like is you have, you know, you have like these headphones. This is a good example actually. So you have these headphones, right? They're all tangled up. And what you'll notice is that as you start to write, it starts to feel like you're kind of pulling them apart. You're like, oh wow, okay. So this idea, you know, it's starting to come together. Now I kind of understand, maybe I haven't been as masculine as I wanted to. What's another example of where I've been too emotional and I've let my emotions control my actions? And you've known that these are problems for a while, but you start writing about them and you start completing them. And usually what it ends up happening is you end up with something that is like this. Like it's still a little messy, but it's pretty clean. And that feeling, of untangling that thought in your journaling is what it feels like to just like save that to your permanent memory. It's like in a computer where you go from the RAM to the hard drive. The memory goes into the hard drive. That's kind of what it feels like when you're journaling. And it starts by just writing. And what you'll notice is that you're gonna suck. <laughs> you're gonna suck at first and that's okay. Like you're kind of supposed to suck at journaling. But what journaling does is it gives you a portal into your brain like three months ago, three months ago, I have a portal back into my brain. I can go back and read it and see, am I in a better spot now? And I can actually see specifically how I was thinking, the ways I was thinking and what limiting beliefs I had. And I can even learn from my past self. And so if you do this long enough, you'll start to realize, oh my God, I can actually do something. I actually have made progress. I've made real progress towards my goals. And if you don't journal, then you're not gonna know and that's how progress works. Like the whole point of this video originally was not to talk about numbers, was not to talk about what, you know, exactly step-by-step step how to track yourself to make sure you're making progress. It was the fact that your life will change if you keep going. If you keep going and you don't stop making progress, if you don't stop pushing yourself to take the actions that you don't wanna take 
because you know they're good for you. If you don't stop doing that and you continually do it over and over and over again, your life will change. Your life will get better, but it won't be noticeable until you look up a year from now and you go, wow, I'm a completely different person. And you can't realize that that change occurred until you've journaled about it, until you've written it down and you've really thought like, wow, I, I have changed a ton. And that's an amazing thing. You don't actually get that experience. You don't realize that until the moment where you sit down and you think, oh shit, my life is completely different. You're not gonna notice the fact that you've been in the gym for three weeks and girls are kind of starting to look at you more unless you write about it. You're not gonna notice that you've been working on your business for three months and your income has increased 10, 20, 30% and maybe you even quit your job and you're happier. You're not gonna notice that because you're stressed out by your business, but you're gonna notice if you journal. Right? You're going to notice if you write about it. And so what I want you guys to take away from this video is that your life does get better if you do not stop. But the only way to not stop, the only way to guarantee that you won't stop is to continually write about it, to continually think about your goals and where you want to take your life. I'm going to come out with a video in the next week on, it's basically just going to be a full guide on how to find your purpose. Because it's something that for some people it takes years. It took me years to find what my purpose was. And sometimes you have to knock out little mini purposes along the way to find a deeper purpose that can go for five or 10 years, right? For me, it was learning how to be more confident then learning how to be the best man in a relationship I could. And now it's like figuring out how to teach men how to manage relationships with women and be the best men that they can be so that they attract their ideal partner and they have healthier relationships. But that's the 10-year goal now. But before, I had one-year purpose, or I had a two-year purpose, or a five-year purpose. And you have to peel back those layers. And so I'm going to make a full guide on how you can do that, because it does take time, and it takes tons of action, it takes tons of improvement. The person you are now, if it's hard to find your purpose, probably is not ready to find that purpose yet. And you need to get yourself to the point where you are ready to find your purpose. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.